morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church and a former poll worker from yesterday. <laughs> so welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. So first I wanted to, to share with you that um, if you watch Coffee Break Prayer, you may have picked up that I've not always had good experiences as a poll worker. And I'm sure many people have experienced much, much worse. In fact, I know they have. Some voters are very angry and feel free to uh, express it. I only had one person yesterday be, um, be abusive toward our team. So that was good. That was very good. Most of the hundreds of people we dealt with were courteous. Some expressed some anxiety, but no one, um, no one verbally attacked us except one person. And that was just verbal. There was nothing physical. So thank you for your prayers. And I hope that um, everyone's experience was as peaceful. And as you can tell from the word hope, maybe you know I haven't read the newspaper yet. I have purposely not checked the news until um, after I completed some stuff this morning and I wanted to, to pray with you first. So a lot of people were very freaked out by the election. Um, I know that from my friends, of course, from reading the papers and from, um, from the voters themselves, people seemed kind of anxious. So let's lift this up to God. Always remembering, and this I wanted to just bring up quickly. This is a quick quote from Ephesians. And you should rightly be suspicious of anyone who like lifts something short out of a book of the Bible. But nonetheless, this is from Ephesians chapter 6. Um, our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the skies. And if that language sounds strange to you, good, you are paying attention. <laughs> it's not the way we normally talk. But if you do take a look at the book of Ephesians, you'll see that Paul is encouraging people to find a way to be together as a diverse community following the risen Christ and to remember that what's going, what our enemies are are not other human beings, not really. So let's remember that when we hear voices trying to incite us to, uh, to hate each other. <laughs> no, we are asked to love each other and to seek peace and mutual understanding. And when we disagree with each other, we need to um, pray for the wisdom to persuade and maybe for the wisdom to let go and be persuaded. So let's begin in the name of Abba, our God, Jesus, our liberator, the Holy Spirit, amen. So come Holy Spirit and help us to pray. And I invite you to take a nice deep breath, especially if you are freaked out about the election. You can take a nice deep breath. Because focusing on our breath helps us to come back to this present moment where Jesus is, our Lord Emmanuel, with us, God with us right here, right now. So let's do that one more time. Holy Spirit, we invite you to infuse your people with wisdom and peace. Help us to never see other human beings as enemies, but as people to love, perhaps wounded people to love, perhaps dangerous people to avoid while loving them from a distance, but nonetheless, as your children bearing the image of God. Holy Spirit, way back in chapter 1 of the scriptures in Genesis chapter 1, human beings are appointed and empowered to be co-rulers with you over all of creation, to be your emissaries, your ambassadors here on the land. And 
So we ask for the grace to do that better than we've been doing it. And to love you, to love each other, and to trust that whatever happens and whatever is happening, again, don't know the results yet, (laughs) whatever is going on, that you, Holy Spirit, can and will move through all things for the greater good of your people and to move this world toward your ultimate goal for us. And as we do this, Holy Spirit, I ask for the special graces of peace and wisdom and the ability to speak and discern truth. So many of us are exposed to soups of lies, just immersed in these lies from people we trust. So help us as your children, as your community, as your people. And I especially pray here for the American people right now, the people in the United States, that we would learn to discern truth, to speak truth, to honor truth. I've actually had people say to me, I don't care what the facts are. This is what I believe. Like, oh my goodness. <gasps> like, <laughs> that's that's a very different way than, it's just a different way of thinking than the way I grew up. So, And it's frightening to me because it means... You know, if I believe what I believe and absolutely nothing, no evidence is going to change my mind. That makes me, I don't know, unwise, let's say. So grant us the gift of wisdom and peace and grant our leaders courage. I ask you to bless all our leaders with courage and wisdom and deep love and a commitment to the poor, to the the trinity of people whom you name over and over and over again, Holy Spirit, in the scriptures, the orphans, the widows, and the strangers, anyone who is other, anyone who is lacking um, the, the protection that they would need, help us, to, the vulnerable, help us to love, especially those people who are loved and protected by you. And... This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may you be blessed this day. Um, Whatever you are feeling after the election, um, I hope that God gives you courage and peace and hope and wisdom. Be blessed, dear one, in all that you need. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen trying to find that end button here. Ah, there it is.